Coming off the best season in school history, the Bulls' confidence has been earned through experience. Seven starters are returning from that record-setting offense, but with the noteworthy departures of Marlon Mack, the all-time leading rusher in school history, and Rodney Adams, who set back-to-back -back school records in receptions and yards. Rodney Adams breaks away! Charlie Strong and his staff are looking to their lineup and their depth to set up and fill those roles. Our mentality is like, okay, Matt just left. He set the foundation, so it's on us to go and get that. We will, you know what I mean? We will. We be taking it day by day. With us, it's about steady progression. We're just trying to schematically get everything put in and then just try to fit and find our personnel that's best and gives us the best opportunity to win every Saturday. Hey, we're about to do three on threes. Get your mind right and attack. Get your mind right and attack. Get us out, nine. Here we go. Returning to lead the offense on the gridiron is AAC Offensive Player of the Year, quarterback Quentin Flowers, who's been working closely with new offensive coordinator Sterling Gilbert to learn the new, faster offense. We like to be fast, you know, the, the faster the better. So uh, that's something that, you know, we're working on right now, really reaching to, uh, to get to our full potential come fall. Coach Gilbert's breakneck attack will present opportunities for returning halfbacks, Dearness Johnson and Darius Tice. The competition level is great. You know, you're just trying to come out there and compete with each other each and every day. You're trying to make more plays than each other, but at the same time, you're just trying to help each other to get better. The standard's still high. We don't want no drop off, you know what I mean? We want to still be high. Like, okay, this is the standard. Running back, this is the standard. 1,000 yards, 2,000 yards, whatever you get, that's the standard. So if we get that going on, for USF, we'll be able to, like, years from now to come back and talk like, well, we got the best running backs, you know what I mean? Yeah. So that's a good feeling. I think the biggest joy for me is that they're still in that I want to learn stage. You know, they saw the success Marlon had, you know, being here for his pro day, you know, seeing him be able to realize his dreams, and it's motivated them. And they come out every day and they want to get better and they want to, you know, learn the system and acclimate themselves to the new offense and the new offensive coaches, and that excites me. The lethal ground game will complement an up-tempo aerial assault keeping pressure on opposing defenses while utilizing the always hungry, ever athletic receiving group. Coach Gilbert, he is a genius. Um, he always thinking one play ahead, and that's hard to find. Um, he goes extremely fast, and he knows how things should be done and how he wants it. Battling in the trenches are the offensive linemen, a young group led by senior Cameron Ruff, they need to be stronger and faster than ever before. The attitude is that everybody's out here trying to prove themselves. Everybody's out here trying to be that next starter, uh, fighting for a position. Uh, coach comes into me every day saying that he doesn't have a starting 11. You know, he doesn't have the starting five or whoever. So everybody's, you know, giving their best every single day, you know, trying to be on that list when it comes in uh, August. They are listening, they are taking coaching. They're not scared to be physical, so that's the number one thing you're looking at. And right now, we're just trying to get technique, fundamentals, and assignments. And then, you know, those guys control their attitude and effort. And if we can get that every single day, I know, I know we'll be in good shape. Returning tight ends, Elkano Dillon and Mitchell Wilcox bring additional versatility to the offense, providing big targets and laying even bigger blocks. They can take a linebacker or a safety one-on-one -on -one out in the pass game, too. So they're very versatile, but they're very physical, and that's something you really love about them. In 2016, the Bulls offense put on a show, breaking multiple school records and earning national recognition. With new coaches on the sideline and a new look, one thing remains the same. When the Bulls are charging, nothing's going to slow them down. Get it, get it. 